happy Friday guys. My name is Tyler Medeiros. I'm talking to you today about a vivid vivid um, experience or vivid um, story I'd like to share with you um, based on this week's lecture. So when it comes to a vivid, vivid experience that I had, I'd like to share the time I left the United States for Afghanistan. Um, I left in 2017 and I went to the 82nd Airborne as a Ranger. And I was the, I was in Afghanistan by August. So it was like six months, you know, training, basic Airborne Ranger. Boom, I was in, uh, I was in Afghanistan. I spent 10 months there. Um, what I wanna share with you guys is the green and the beautiful, you know, country that we live in. You know, I live in California. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining most of us do in this course. Um, and then I was stationed in North Carolina. So I'm already surrounded by, you know, green ocean, mountains, um, beautiful climate, you know. Um, I get the snow rain, I get out, we get everything out here. And Afghanistan is very similar, um, except for the green. Uh, as soon as I left North Carolina, I flew into New York, went from New York into Germany, Frankfurt. I left Frankfurt straight into Kuwait. And that's a, that's the switch right there that, that um, it's a total 360 degree turnaround. Um, I'm in this green rain, Germany, uh, North Carolina, California, beautiful. Right as I pass over into um, the Middle East, we, you know, it's, it's brown, it's pale. It's almost like a, it's, it's almost pinkish in, in, the, in the sense of this brown and, and tans that, that are mixed over there. And just not a pleasant sight. And you're instantly realizing that you are no longer home. And for that, that experience was scary, um, obviously going into a combat zone. Um, but what really, um, what really um, sticks out to me was the traveling inside that country that I had to do from helicopters or planes and that was, or, or, you know, trucks, I was a machine gunner. So that, that whole transportation scene was, was entirely different as the way we do it here in the United States. Um, in the United States, we'll take off, you know, a long, slow, steady rise into, into flight. In Afghanistan, it is instantly, bam, up, because you are getting shot at most of the time. And the very first time I landed in that country, I was coming down on a two propeller, two winged, Chinook helicopter and as we're coming down I'm in a fishbowl of mountains where our forward operate our base was basically and I'm sitting there wondering what the hell are we doing out here for one and two why are we taking so long to come down and I look out the window and all we can see is flares from you know the aircraft and for me I was like hmm what's that about didn't know, haven't been over here before, this is my first day. And the pilot's just, ah, oh, don't worry about it, it's just some incoming, we're just diverting what was going on. And luckily we did not get any um, contact within that iteration, but um, later down the deployment we did. And uh, maybe, maybe I can share those things with you guys um, for my final project. I'm looking forward to sharing a lot more experiences um, that kind of stuck out for me. Um, whether I be jumping out of the airplane for the first time, landing, um, shooting a high powerful machine gun for the first time. I have a ton of info that I would love to share for people on a regular civilian level that have not been open to that side of things. And to hear it firsthand from a veteran that's been over there, um, I think I think that'd be a great way to educate and um, you know, let people learn about veterans and, and, and what we've been through and whatnot. And so, I hope that kind of shares something. If not, I can post another one. I got plenty of stories to, to, to share. So I hope everyone has a great day. Looking forward to hearing what everyone else has to share. Bye.